Hello friends, uh, I have made one software named Multidoc Screening Tool for easy docking in Autodoc Vina and uh, especially for reverse docking and we can uh, there are many uh, functions in this software like ligand management and easy import and export of molecules so let us uh, see a demo for this demo i i have uh, selected some proteins like these these three proteins small protein molecules are selected and uh, i have created some uh, ligand molecules which are in mole format now uh, we have to add uh, we have to firstly we have to create a project i will create a new project uh, let us name it as simple project so uh, i will create a simple uh, project so i will, I will name this as simple the project is created now i will add the protein molecules uh, for docking so these are the protein molecules now automatically the proteins will be will be converted into pdbqt format required for docking in autodoc vina okay all the three proteins are added for docking now we will add uh, ligands now for to add ligands initially i have added these three molecules uh, mole files or ligands in a ligand database so uh, we can uh, add these molecules by clicking this mole button or whatever format we have like mole to format or sdf file we can add in the database now these three molecules are here uh, n1 n2 and n3 now i will select those protein uh, those ligand molecules so source of this is i have na na name this source as simple molecules so and for demo purpose i will select only two molecules now i uh, now that these are these two n1 and n2 molecules are selected and they are here for docking now i will adjust the exhaustiveness okay i will keep this 10 and by clicking this start button we can we can start the docking process now the docking process is started Now this is the result of first protein that is 1, Q, Z, M and 23, ligand number 23. So uh, this is the result, this is the uh, least energy that is pose 1 energy. Now we can visualize the results by selecting uh, the receptor and ligand combination and okay I will select this one and uh, we can visualize the results in pymol so this is the result of uh, docking between one QZM and one of the ligand so likewise we can see all other results also so 
like this or uh, this one so let us see this result you can visualize that in pymol this this is the result and all the uh, three proteins and two ligands have been docked successfully and we can see the results by uh, the results by going this menu all the results uh, the product name is simple so let us okay this is the result we can export this result by uh, in csv format okay i will save this as save the results as simple one so result has been saved in docking and simple one now this is the file where the result has been saved So these are the re results. Uh, the product name, receptor, ligand, ligand name, source, pose, affinity, RMSD, lower bound, RMSD, upper bound. All the results are here. So we can further analyze this result. Now another function, important function is there in this software. That is we can uh, export all the molecules at once or we can form combined file files like receptor and ligand combined files so for that purpose we have to select the product name then uh, we can filter the results so uh, i will uh, save all the results so uh, I, so i will uh, uh, this uh, minimum in uh, limit affinity less than where is kept to zero and I will say all the files are in uh, the receptors in PDB format, ligands in mole format, uh, ligand pose 1 in PDB format and uh, receptor ligand combined form, uh, combined file. So we have to click OK button now automatically the uh, one folder will be formed and in this folder all the results will be saved automatically so now the files are automatically formed Now, for example, this is combined file of 1QZM and 23 numbered uh, ligand. So, let us see the results. Okay, this is the combined file which is necessary for further analysis like uh, molecular dynamics, ligand interactions. This is the file combined file.
Now there are uh, another function in, uh, in this uh, software that is we can refine the results uh, based up on the position of ligand like if the ligand is present in active site or not so that can be filtered using this software. So this function we will see in the next video.